Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about uh, some of the important challenges which we normally faced during recent times. Then how will you overcome those testing challenges in this video? The first challenge is the lack of time for automation or not able to speed up the automation development. This is the normal case faced by most of the testing teams most of the testers including automation team because what happens with this agile concept more focus is happening to close the more user story more often more frequently because with a given two weeks or three week cycles for every sprint because of that lot of technical depths will uh, rise with respect to automation because of that we always feel there is a lack of time for bringing automation because most of our time goes to the manual testing and certifying given user story so how will you tackle this challenge or how will you overcome these challenges we should plan it better when you plan it better and when you have a realistic and right estimation uh, we should ensure that what kind of resources we have, what kind of user story which are coming, how much effort is going to the manual testing, how much additional effort we have left for test automation. With that effort available for test automation, what can be done? That we should estimate. We are really seeing we do not have a additional capacity or we do not have an additional uh, bandwidth to take up automation, then we should put a realistic estimation and we have to bring it to the management notice. It is not just we have to consider only development effort. After that, we should also talk about maintaining of those test cases as well. That additional effort also you should bundle with your overall estimation and you have to present it to leadership team. If you require some more resources, definitely you should look for a right talent. If you hire the right talent to your team, as a first step, we should take the high priority cases to automate first so that that is going to reduce the major burden from the manual team if you are trying to bring in automation in those area. And also by doing this uh, prioritizing the test cases and doing the critical ones first that would help you to reduce the overall technical depth. The second major challenge is availability of a good resources especially with the kind of uh, higher attrition we have and higher uh, affordability to keep the resources it's not very easy because if every company is offering higher salary higher packages and holding the resources especially good resources is is not easy that is also a major challenges these days especially retaining those good resources then how will you tackle this kind of challenges the first thing we should do here is we should identify the right lead here. your lead can be your test lead or a test manager because in majority of the company people you leave the company because of a manager not because of the company when you do not have a right manager or a right test lead in your project chances are that people you will leave because of that manager or a lead so that analysis also you should do and the second thing is you should also look on the kind of uh, work environment you have, what kind of work pressure the team is going through, what kind of engagement we can bring, what kind of the team we can build, how we can have a good engagement within the team by building the right working environment, we should see that as well. And also we should give as much freedom to the resources as long as they are within the boundary as long as they are within the processes and we should be able to provide a free end to the resources to take the action in terms of testing to bring the new thought processes new things in the team they will also be happy by seeing at least managements are accepting their feedbacks accepting the inputs then the fourth thing we should do here is we should also see the individual growth if there is no career growth within the same organization people will try to move to the different organization as a lead or a manager if you could able to plan better for the individual growth in your organization definitely you can retain the resources as much as possible 
and the fifth one you should definitely make it clear is even by doing all this also still you cannot stop certain attrition attrition definitely will happen in order to survive even with the higher attrition rate or even when still resources are leaving then you should have a good knowledge management system should be there you should have a good knowledge management system should be there and knowledge transition plans also should be there because if somebody leaves then if you are able to provide the good knowledge management system plus knowledge transitions they definitely the new resources who onboarded you will be productive as early as possible and also try to see if you can manage the benefits or perks as per the competitors that is the crucial things to retain the good resources then the next challenge is stakeholder expectation this is a very crucial in any project it is not just testing project it can be across any kind of software project keeping the stakeholder expectation i is always a goal for us the first thing is as a test lead or a test manager or a tester we should identify who is the stakeholder whether a test lead is our stakeholder or a dev lead is a stakeholder or a manager or a product owner product management or a client is the stakeholder for our project we should identify all the stakeholders in the beginning of the project itself when you identify then you should keep communicating to those stakeholders in a more transparent manner in terms of our test deliverables like test planning we should uh, review with them get the suggestions even uh, start producing the test reports frequently and also start sharing the defects reports as well with the, all the stakeholders the, so that they will also have an uh, understanding like where the testing team is really going on what kind of issues they are finding what kind of issues they are going through what kind of support is required for the testing team that is also you can highlight as part of your reports also the major aspect is you have to keep in loop for all the communication you guys are making with the stakeholders that is the added advantage plus that would help you to gain the trust with the stakeholders as well and the last one is in order to meet the stakeholders expectation you should keep connection with the stakeholders regularly it could be on via email or a call or a meeting and so on then the next challenge with the testing team is quality of bug reports this is very important because when quality of bug report is not good when the quality of the defects which we raise is of not good enough then lot of testers effort will go unnecessarily providing more information to the tester regularly that is not the right once you file a defect with the, all the information then tester time should not get wasted by giving more and more information the first thing is as a test lead or a test manager if you could come up with a, a template when whenever they are raising a defect or a bug they should follow a format of a template that whenever they log a defect or a bug they will try to fill the all the information which is available in the template and appropriate data they will push it uh, based on the template into the bug tracking tool and also testers should ensure that they provide all the details like environment details logs detailed steps any dependencies are there while executing the test cases and also putting the right severity and priority for a given bug is also a very important you should have a mechanism of having a one more review before submitting a defect or a bug into the defect tracking tool because if someone other person reviews one more time it may happen that uh, you can find out lot of issues and you can sort it out here only within the testing team then we can finalize or submit the bug into the bug tracking tool so if we can have a regular defect triage meeting with the development team product owner or business analyst that would help you to organize or prioritizing these uh, defects which we log and also we will get uh, all the dates when they are going to fix it so that you can plan it better the overall uh, testing approach the next challenge is repeated regression testing failures it may happen that whenever you raise a regression on every new build if you are seeing there is a 
too much regression testing failures are happening then as a tester it is your job to highlight these things with the management if there is a too much regression failure means there are chances that developers may not be writing the right unit test cases and even the integration test cases are also not up to the mark even those issues as a tester we should identify as a tester we should do a regular root cause analysis regularly if possible if you can get it automation of this integration test cases or unit test cases that would really help to reduce the overall uh, repeated uh, test failures in the regression so the next challenge is most of the time we do see this whatever the kind of testing we do still we see lot of production issues keep coming from the client side again it is a tester's responsibility to reduce as much as possible the production defects or issues as a tester what we should do here is we should keep doing root cause analysis on every production issue which is coming inside and we wanted to see because of which gap whether it is because of lack of unit test cases in this area or integration test cases in this area or a regression or a functional uh, gaps are there or even uh, performance uh, test cases are not available what is the rational error what is the reason behind why these production issues are coming uh, from the client that we have to do a detailed root cause analysis once we have that information where is the gap then we should put a plan to fix those gaps as well once we are able to fix those gaps and we have to keep repeating this exercise regularly until we see as much as possible the production issues are getting uh, reduced over period these are the some of the important uh, testing challenges which i can think of how to handle and how to resolve this challenges also i have talked about in this video if you guys really like this video give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care